Good evening everybody, Simple Reefing here with a, another PAR test on the 210. So on my previous PAR test, I had three noob sykes and the three XR30s on, and I was getting plenty of PAR, but uh, it wasn't how I'd like, I guess you could say. My acropores were actually getting less light than all my coral up here, which is kind of backwards. So, Mo Reefer, thank you for the piece of advice on that video. Why not just take the noob sykes off and turn my XR30s up a little more? So, really made no sense to have all three of those lights on the back, or all, all six on running at once. So, my electricity bill is going to benefit from that. And, you know, I, I really over was overthinking it with um, providing a blanket of light. You know, just with the XR30s alone, they get plenty of light. And I don't know why, it, that's just me overthinking. But anyways, I took the noob sights off, as you can see. The XR30s, I turned them up a little bit more and I pushed them back uh, a little bit past middle. So they're kind of hitting the acropora a little more. And for my schedule, they turn on at 10 o'clock, they ramp up uh, at 11.30, they ramp up for an hour and a half, and all my blues, purple, violets are set at 100, my red and greens are at 10, and my cool whites are at 75%. And I run that schedule at 85% intensity, and then at 5.30, it starts to ramp down for an hour and a half till 7.30, uh, the only thing I change is my light, my white, the cool whites r go down to 30% and I run that schedule at 65% uh, point intensity. And then from there, it'll ramp down until they turn off at 10 o'clock. So I did turn them back on to pretty much full peak intensity. Um, I have to do this later this evening because it's hard to do this when you have two kids to watch. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And I'll be doing the same thing, testing from right to left and kind of hitting all the key spots. So, here we go. So, down at the bottom corner, 175 on top of this rock, 180. On the bottom corner, 250, 260. On the bottom here, 225. My hammer right here, 230. Sunk his bounce, 240. On top of here, 205. Monopore is getting 200. This orange Satosa, which I just added, is getting 240. The Mystic Dragon, 250. The Pavona, Cactus Pavona, 230. The bottom right here, 285. My hammer. 300. This one is getting about 310. Up here, 300, 315. This chalice I just added is getting 120 down here in the shade. 160, 170. I kind of wanted to put that in a shaded area in hopes that it kind of plates out a little bit. We will see. Back in this corner, I have a red money cap. That is getting 140 up here. 240, 250 up here. 230, 220. Strawberry shortcake, 300, 290. The pink Cadillac and green Slimer, about 350. Uh, a lot more than I thought. Okay, 320. 
Red Dragon, 300. Let's see, PC Rainbow, about three, 330. The Volita right here, 270. ORA Chips, 300. PC Superman up here is getting 290. I believe this is the Master Yoda Acropora, and that's getting 300. And at the top, it's getting about 330 to 350. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, I can't remember to be honest, but 270. This is a Barney Acro I got from Fish of Hex, 275, 280. I just added this Monty Cap in here from my 50 Lagoon, and I think it'll grow fast in here, seeing how my other Monty's are growing, but it's getting about 300 right here. I've got an encrusting Monty that I just added, 270, 260, 270, right here on the coral bed, or the crushed coral bed 270 Let's see this is getting 260 candy canes 270 birds nest 290 I just put this big pink Cadillac trunk in here it's getting 275 280 my yellow tips, 275, 280, solar flare, 300, 320, my weeping willow, 300, uh, we'll go back up here, back here in the center, 250, if I put a rock here, let's say it's about 280, 290. This green slimer is getting 320. 320. This pink tabling acro I got also from Fish of Hex is getting about 300. 280 to 300. I've got a Bali Blue 250. I just added those Hawkins, Blue Hawkins Echinana. It's getting 260, 270. Alright, down here on the coral bed. Uh, pushing 300. We'll call it 290. Down on the bottom here. 257, 260. The Captain Jerks are getting 290. These Zoas on this rock right here, 240, 250, 240, 230. Down here on the bottom, 240, 230, 240. Back up to these Monty Caps. 230, 240, 200, 190. Purple Silo up here, 260, 280. We'll call it 270. Let's move this over. Two thirty. My hammer's up here. 245, 250, let's go behind it, 230, 220, frog spawn, 230, 200, all right, the torches, this end of gold is getting roughly two. 240, 250, the green, 
250, 230, 250. Down here, this hammer is getting 180. My grandest pallies, 180. I've got alien pox cyphastria as well as the sweetgrass cyphastria that I just added. These are getting 150. My friend that I got these from 3D prints, these uh, frag stands, which are, I think they're pretty awesome. I mean, especially with a crushed coral bed, um, it's kind of hard to get a frag plug to sit on the bed. So I might look into getting ceramic tiles, but I, I also love some more of these. Uh, they are pretty handy. Fruity Pebbles. 220, 230. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this rock up here, but it's getting 330, 350, 320. I figure if anything I could always glue like an acro to the side of that. That kind of hits all the spots. Let's see, I moved that Garth Bonsai right here, and that's getting 270, 280. I'm pretty content with this. 236, 270, you know, really, like, in retrospect, I don't know why I, I thought it was a good idea to have those noob sikes on there, because I could have just turned the XR30s up and not have to worry about six, or three extra lights to plug in. Um, I do want to get a Quana Helix light bar. I'm looking at like the mes Meso Blue and he makes an R RMS uh, mounting kit. So I could literally just hang it right on the back. And if I were to do that, I would turn, obviously I'd turn the XR30s down a little bit, but just that extra little bit of light kind of to mimic a T5. Um, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Again, Mo Reefer, thank you for the piece of advice on that. Uh, it really, I, I, I don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with. I'm so glad I, you know, experimented with the Noob Sykes. Uh, that's kind of what this hobby is to me, you know, trying new things. But, at the same time, I don't want to make it um, harder on myself. So why run the extra lights? I get plenty of par, as you can tell, with just the three XR30s. And I only bought one of these new, the other two are used and they seem to be doing pretty well. Um, as far as the Noob Sykes, I ended up putting them on my 50 Lagoon. Um, because I had three different lights on that tank and it is a wide tank. I think it's like 30, 30 inches wide. So I've actually got two noob sites on there and it's beautiful. And I'm gonna make a part video on that right now, as well as give you guys an update on that tank. But I'll show up close some of the coral I got from my friend Alan who let me borrow his par meter. I've got some encrusting monies, the orange setosa, the cactus pavona. I can't remember what this is called. And I'm not gonna put on my rocks yet because those anthelia. I also got this, he told me it was called a, a pink boobies chalice, but I did say I wanted a chalice in the tank. I think that will look pretty sweet when it grows out. Um, like I said, I moved this grafted money cap in here. At least I, I'm pretty sure it's the grafted money cap. Um, I got it from my local fish store months ago and it was like a very faded, like blue color. And you know, I got it for 20 bucks. Uh, but anyways, it came, 
it, you know, really colored up nice. And I think it'll grow fast in here, seeing how my other money caps have been growing like weeds, like I always say. This money, I cannot remember the name of it. I think it was like a cherry something. Um, I hope it really starts to encrust. I love the texture of it. I love that bright fluorescent pink color to it. Um, so in my last update video, I was talking about wanting to kind of fill this rock. And I think what I have here will do the job. I might find a couple things to kind of put up there and then kind of fill that, those voids. But I will figure that out. Um, I'm really happy to have a nice chunk of pink Cadillac back in here. And I can't wait for that to really color up. And let's see what else. I think this was a Superman Monopora. I will find a spot for that. I am tempted to glue it on the back or on the overflow. And then these uh, Cyphastria, if I can get it to focus, the Alien Pox and the Sweetgrass. So that is it for the tank. These guys are hungry. I'm about to feed. I am so happy my copper band is finally eating frozen mices. I will always have a chunk of frozen mices in my evening feedings. But that is it. Stay tuned for the 50 Lagoon updates. I'm going to go do a par test on that tank right now. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.